go. First race footage of 2018. First race footage on the channel because we're here in Radelaide where you can film. The UK, it's hard to film, but here we go. Ride Le Kermis. It's a bit promoted by Norwood Cycling Club. Big up them. It's a good race. It's about 5k circuit. You can see roughly where the start, start finish line is. Actually, maybe you can't. Uh, so basically, the start finish line is just around the corner. You'll see it in a bit. Uh, as we cross the line, I believe we have two laps to go. Uh, so yeah, it was really nice, really nice circuit. Um, oh no, one lap to go. Sorry. So there's A grade absolutely flying past us. There's the pro, all the pro riders pretty much. Um, so we were just we were cruising. Um, so I rolled off the front at the beginning. It was pretty chill to be honest. Not not super hard turns. Basically, the, the other people just really like doing turns, and I was like, well, I'll do a couple turns, but I, like I don't really wear myself out because we still got a bit of racing left. Um, so anyway. It's like decently hilly. I think we had 600 meters of elevation and 40k, so you know, it's, it's good. Uh, it was enough to make some separations for sure. We started with about 45, 50 riders, and we had finished about 15, I think. Or maybe a little less, maybe 12. Like, it, it, it was pretty attrition. There was a lot of attrition. Um, so I'm second wheel here. Just I basically, my I attacked at the beginning, saw if a break I thought a break would go or not. Um, decided they wouldn't, so I just sat in basically, just sat second third wheel i didn't really want to go too far back because if someone goes it's just hard to respond and it was it's really narrow because you can't cross the lines unlike the uk often uh so for that reason it just made sense to sit sit at the front and uh, make sure that you know you don't you don't lose position um as a lie to ride i find it generally quite easy to keep position on um on races like these just because on those little punchy climbs you can just um keep position pretty well so you can see this, we've got a bit of a tailwind section. Um, it's pretty chill, this part. Like, everyone was dying up this climb, but I, I felt all right. Uh, so you can see the heart rate's pretty low, to be honest, like, for a race. Like, it's not even 180, and my max is 205 or something like that. Um, it was a weird race. Like, it was a bit hard at the beginning because I was in the break, and then it just got quite chilled out. I feel like a lot of these races in low grades are like this, where it's just not super hard. And then the last, like, two laps, everyone's like, right, it's time to win. But the thing is, I just, like, everyone chases everything, so there's no point trying to, like, attack because you're just not really going to get away. Um, so, yeah, I was just chilling out with the lads in the peloton. We had another guy, Nathan, who was vegan. Uh, I think his channel's like, Just So Nathan. I don't think he makes videos anymore, but he was, he finished just behind me. Um, but, yeah, it was a good race. Uh, I haven't raced for, like, four or five months, so it was, a, it was an all right result. Like, this is C-grade, so it's not... I mean, the, the standard's, like, all right, but it's not... It's not mental, like, I was expecting a bit to be a bit harder, to be honest. Um, and one thing was the cornering speed was really low, like, not very aggressive cornering by these Australian riders, um, which I thought was weird, um, but maybe, I don't know, they're just a bit more cautious in the UK, where the UK is, like, full gas, but, yeah, it didn't seem, it didn't seem crazy hard, like, the beginning, I literally just rolled off the front, but anyway, it was a nice race, I didn't win, so, you know, I'll give you that already, um, so, you know, I can't say it was too easy. Uh, but yeah, we got some disc brake bikes, which is which is interesting. Never raced with discs before. I guess it doesn't really make a difference in the dry, to be honest. I don't really see why you'd have a disc brake bike in Australia, I guess, unless you want to do gravel, to be honest, because it's pretty dry or whatever. I guess, it, or you live in a hilly area, but Adelaide, you don't really need discs, to be honest. Um, I guess you have if you have them, you'll race with them. So you can see here, like, we're getting 38 k's an hour. It's not it's not mental. Um, so yeah, we have another, another lap or so to go, I think. Um, so it's mainly just like staying out the wind, I'd say, the, these races, just like, figure out early on if you think a break's going to go or not, and if the break's not going to go, don't force it, because you'll just end up u losing energy and wasting energy, and like, you might be off the front, but you're not like, off the front enough that if, even if they start chasing, they get you back, because you'll end up just cooking yourself, it's better just to stay in the pack often at these races, just chill out, make sure you have good position, just always have good position, that, that's one, what's my top tip, I'd say, because when you have good position, it just allows you to react to moves far easier, far easier, um, and also you don't. If there's if there is a split, you can go with it, and also like round the corner, you get less of a sheer cane effect and the whole elastic band thing. So often, if you're at the back, especially on really tight corners, you have to sprint from almost no speed up to like 30, 40, 50 k's an hour, whatever it will be. So um, yeah, it's just important to have good position, cadence. I I really like having high cadence race. I really spin as much as possible. Um, on the climbs, it some can sometimes be difficult. You're like, oh, maybe I should go and just stay in the big ring. Um, but often it's it's really important. There's there's some fans on the left. Um, you might recognise them. But often I find it's just important to like keep the gear really important, like the gear really high, um, just just to save the legs. So you can see here, like I'm I'm just watching. Like I don't really want to make 
make an attack, but I just don't want anyone to go up the road. Because I knew there were a couple of strong guys who hadn't really, like, showed their hands or anything. So I was like, you know, I, I knew who was, like, w like often you'll see in lower, ca lower class races where there's be, there'll be people who work and then they're never, they never feature in the end because they just do too much work early on. Um, it's like, I could probably get away with that because generally I'm, like, strong enough to do that. But you'll see some guys, they'll just do a lot of work early on and then they'll just be nowhere for the for the finish. So it's important just to say, uh, save your energy. But you can see here, like, the wattage is pretty chill. Like, I thought it would be, like, 400, like, 350 up here, like, really smashing it. But, like, it's not even three watts per kilo for me. Like, come on. It's just quite chill. Um, so you can see here, I'm just moving back, like, just maybe moving a little bit too far back. But I, I wanted to say top five the whole time. So then I just sort of try and edge my way in here and I saw him and that's Nathan so I sort of knew him so I was like oh I'll, I'll let him in ahead of me and just drop him behind um people didn't really like like I don't know they were a bit funny about me trying to like be a bit aggressive in the pack not aggressive necessarily but like a bit assertive like if I was going to come in I'd sort of just move in and knock them out of the way or like force them to move and they were like oh hold your line or whatever it's like well mate it's racing like come on we're not we're not going for like a Sunday group ride here like we're here to race we're here to win like you know, a bit of contact is like all right, but I don't know. Maybe they, I don't. I definitely feel like the experience level wasn't necessarily the same as others, but maybe I don't know. It's different, but it was a good hilly course. Quite enjoyed it. Here, I could, I could definitely my cadence could be a bit higher. But the problem is, I didn't really want to shift in the small ring because it's just about to go downhill. Um, so you can see people are starting to move up, um, and here's like the problem you can get into. It's just quite easy to get boxed in, uh, but you can see like the racing's not very hard. Like not full gas here. Um, it will pick up a little bit when people get excited, but um, generally it, it's just weird the racing at this level because you feel like you feel like most people are a lot faster than they are in races, but no one wants to sort of do anything because no one thinks they're going to get away. So it just sort of gets this bit like it's just a bit dead sometimes. You're like, come on, mate, let's do something. Um, this descent is not really very technical, pretty easy to be honest. Um, I wouldn't really say. There's anything super hard about it, um, about this course. There's that one technical corner there where it's a little bit slow, but like everyone took a bit quite cash. We hit like 63 k's an hour. I think my max speed was closer to 70, but it was never like in danger of. Uh, I was never in danger of like losing contact or anything, um, and I was never really in danger of crashing or anything because it's just not very technical. There's like one left hander here, but it's like full gas. Um, so you, basically, the wind is coming. It's sort of like a headwind here, and then, yeah, it's headwind here, and when we turn left here, you'll watch that it's basically a massive crosswind, but no one realizes it, so everyone's riding on the left-hand side of the road, because the comma says we're like, ride on the left or all that box, but it's like, it's a crosswind, what are you doing? Ride on the right-hand side of the road, save your legs, like, if you look how much power I'm doing, it's not that much compared to the people on the left, I remember literally, like, coasting up on the inside, like here, like, I'm literally doing no watts. They're probably doing, like, 250, 300 just because the wind was so strong. Um, but, yeah, it was it was just odd. Like, people didn't seem to understand. Uh, there was a couple of attacks at the end um, just as we're leading into the last lap. And here I remember actually thinking, like, oh, shit, I better do some work because it was um, it's hard. But you could sort of see that no one was really going to get away. Um, and this is a – I think this is where I move up quite a lot. Yeah, so you can see everyone's pretty hesitant. So if, if you just keep on the gas here – um, round the corner, you could, I made up like two or three places there, and it's just, it's a good way of doing it, just sort of like, if you see people are going a bit slow around the corner, you can go wider, then go wider, and then there'll naturally be places where you can just sort of slot back in, um, and make up a couple places, and it, it's just really important to do that, just always make sure you're near the front, uh, but like when you get too close, like two or three wheels, sometimes it's just good just to like pull out a little bit, or not even pull out, but just leave a little gap, so then the person tries to move up, and then they'll take your place. The bad thing is to do is to move out completely the line because then trying to get back in is obviously hard. Um, so you can see that guy's moving up. I could tell, I was like, he's not really going to win. Um, he might just up the pace a little bit. So I was like, I, I feel all right letting him do it. But I could tell here, it was like last lap uh, is coming up and I was like, all right, I need to move up because on the last lap, it generally is harder to move up just because people hear the bell and everyone just wants to hit it. Um, so I saw this guy move up and I was like, right, here we go. Um, so just keep the cadence really high, about 105, and just spin it, spin it up, um, which is good. Um, so you can see we're about six, six, seven wheel here. Pretty confident, like where I am. Uh, I never thought, I never really thought I was like gonna get out of position, just because there weren't too many people, and like 
it, the fight for position wasn't crazy hard. Like it wasn't where there's like a, a massive group of Peloton where it's like 50, 60 riders or whatever. And like, you've really got to keep good position, keep on moving up here. It was generally, it was relatively easy to keep position because the, the pace wasn't too high. Um, so yeah, this is basically the finish line now. So we're coming up. So you've seen this before, but it's just on these circuits, it's good just to make sure that you, um, you know the finish well, you know the tail, so I knew it was a tailwind, so I knew I could go relatively early. Um, so you can see, like, everyone's sort of moving up, everyone's getting a bit edgy, but you can tell nothing too crazy was going to happen at this point. Um, there might have been a split or something, but, like, it, was, it wasn't going to be too bad. So you can see there's an attack on the right-hand side of the road, but it's more like a gradual upping of pace, and then all these guys move up, and it's just like, there we go. So everyone wants to attack, because it's they finally realize it's the last lap. So here I, I'm just responding to the attack. Um, I never, it was like not too hard to follow for me. Uh, we smashed up to 35 k's an hour for like a 4% gradient, but it was never like hard to follow. But you'll see in a minute, there's a slight gap opening. And this guy in the blue, this is where you will lose your race often. If you try and close this gap on your own, if you can't do it, just swing off straight away. Don't waste your energy because what will happen is you waste your energy and then the guy behind you will attack past you and then it'll be super hard to get on the wheel. So if you are struggling, just pull over straight away and then keep the speed quite high and just try and do as much as you can to get on that wheel. So you'll see here, he goes now, will smash up to 600 watts and this guy behind him suddenly is like, oh shit, he's going 60 k's an hour. He picked up about three or four, five k's an hour and it's really hard to get on the wheel. Luckily for me, I had this guy to pull me across the, across the gap, which was pretty good. I, I, I probably could have done it myself, definitely, but it would have taken a lot of matches out of me and it, it would have really suffered me for the sprint. Uh, luckily, this guy was actually ridiculously strong, um, especially on the flats, so it was fine. And you can see I'm barely even touching 200 on his wheel most of the time just because um, the draft was so good. Um, and when you are going fast or when you're just really quite tired, just just really concentrate on the aero position to just try and get as low as possible. For me, generally, because I'm a smaller rider, I can get super low and benefit from all the other guys. Um, so it's, when it comes to the last lap, it's just the pace is generally a bit higher, like maybe, one, maybe one, two Ks an hour faster. Uh, people are a bit more like on edge, a bit nervy. This bunch wasn't too too nervy, to be honest, so it was fine. Um, but, yeah, you just need to watch out a bit more. Uh, just make sure just make sure you keep your position, to be honest. Make sure you just keep moving up. Um, here it's not as vital, but in bigger races, as I said, just keep make sure you're moving up. Because if you're not moving up, you're normally moving backwards. Luckily on this one, you could. Um, so you can see here, the, the cornering speed is like, well, it's not great. Like, you could pedal around that corner going full gas. Like, it's not... It's not really crazy. I don't know if it was the cones that made people a bit like anxious. I don't really understand. But so you can see here again, people are fighting for position. I, I mainly just wanted to just stay in the top five or six, basically. Um, and there's no point going crazy to try and move up when it when it's full gas. But I knew like going out the corner, everyone tries to sprint really hard because they know that's where they might be able to get a small separation. But then after this part of the hill where it sort of ramps up a little bit, it, um it sort of flans off and that's where you can really recover. So even here, like it's sort of a round threshold, maybe a little bit below, which if you think for the final lap, it's it should be harder than this. Um, obviously, your legs are, are quite fatigued because I did a bit of work early on. Um, it was quite a solid race, to be fair. It was about 280 normalized power and I'm 60, so you know, it wasn't, wasn't bad, but it was about probably, it was probably the same. I did a road race in the UK, which was like two hours and the same, same pace as that. So it wasn't, obviously I was a bit fitter then now, but. It was good fun racing. Really enjoyed it. There's some weird regulations in Australia. Like, you have to wear those weird hel helmet hat things to s so you everyone knows what grade you are. And then this race, you had to have a rear flashing light. I was like, what the hell is that? I literally have no idea. It was super strange um, racing. Like, I don't really understand. Um, I'm going to make a quick video as well of how to race in Australia or a different country um, or from my experiences. Uh, because obviously, I have a British license, not an Australian license, but managed to race here. And it was pretty chill, actually. Everyone was really nice. Sorted me out, and um, much appreciated it. Because it's always nice racing in different countries, uh, just seeing how the how the cycling is. Should be racing Belgium at some point this year, uh, maybe Thailand as well. I'm not sure. Uh, I just just you know any any races that is a bit hilly, then I'll enter them. Maybe I'll even do some flat kermesis and just get dropped after like like probably like half an hour. But we'll see. So you can see there's a bit of a bit of an upping of pace, but like again, it's it's nothing crazy. So often if there's an upping of pace and you're you're feeling a bit gassed, just let the rider come through and just jump on the wheel. Uh, often I feel like in cycling it's like a trade-off between position and position and gas. So if you if you increase your power, you can gain position, or you decrease your power a little bit and lose position. So sometimes if you're really suffering, then it, it makes sense to sort of lose position, and then um, 
and then just recover a little bit more. But other times, if you're feeling strong, then obviously it makes sense just to move up. So you can see it's the last lap. We've got about four or five people here. And um, this is where Harley was telling me to attack, like basically last lap up that climb. But I just didn't think I could do it because I, I felt like the crosswind was too strong. Um, so you can see this guy's sort of gone off the front and we're like, oh, he might t get it, but like probably not. Um, and we're all sort of messing around. Everyone's like, I mean, I did no pulls on the front all day, to be honest, because I was just having none. I was like, mate, I can't, I can't even bother to pull. Um, so this guy sort of gets away. We sort of bring him back. And then it's like, it's like no one wants to seal the deal because no one wants to really sacrifice their sprint. And there were no teammates in order to get someone back. So you can see they've got a decent gap here, the man on the front. On the front. Um, we are flying at 60 k's an hour, which is always nice. I always like hitting that 60 k an hour when you're still pedaling. So you can see I'm on the right-hand side of the road here trying to get as much draft as possible. Because I really, really, really need to save the legs here. I remember this was relatively hard. Um, definitely stung the legs quite a lot. And you can see there, and like I could close that gap. All of us could close that gap right now if we wanted to. But no one wants to close the gap. So you can see I'm only doing like 150 watts here just because I'm in the draft. And I've got so many people um, protecting me because the wind was crazy hard. Um, so this is definitely a place where you can really save your legs. So just watch out for those crosswinds. Um, and everyone's pretty aero, but you see the guy on the front is laboring quite a lot. I don't really know what he's doing because he, what he's doing at the moment is a bit dumb. Like, obviously, he's a strong rider, so it's sort of irrelevant. My critique would be for him is to either attack or get off the front. Don't do this weird bridging thing that people like to do in order to bring it back for the peloton. Like, no, just, just do that. But anyway, I was dumb here. So I'm now third wheel, which is way, way, way too far up. So I could see here that if he flicks his elbow, which we still got like a K to go, I think. Well, I'm not pulling through because I'm just, I don't want to lead anyone out. So I was like, sh I was like, ah, nah, I need to, need to get back a little bit. We could pedal around that corner as well. Like we weren't going that fast. So that's what I think one K to go from there. Um, so this part, people seem to accelerate a bit more. And then afterwards, so then you see that guy attacks, everyone's attacking. Um, and it gets a bit sketchy here. That guy almost crashes. And then I'm like, right, round you go up to 700, um, and this is where this is where I like to see full gas, get in good position, hold the wheel, and this is when you just have to think, right, I'm holding the wheel to the end, I've made it this far, and just concentrate on holding that wheel as, as far as possible. Make sure you don't, don't lose position. You cannot lose position at this moment, because otherwise it's game over, you're gonna get boxed in. Um, so you can see here again, the guy, the guys are moving up on the left-hand side, and you've got to, got to decide if you're going left or right. Here I was dumb, I went right, and it was the wrong decision because Everyone is on the left-hand side of the road, and when they attacked, they all went on the right, which really slowed me down, because you can't cross the white line, which is dumb. So it's only about two or three bikes wide. But anyway, you can see the guy on the front is now killing himself. I'm not sure what he's doing, but he's wasting his energy trying to get that guy back. And that guy is gone. He's not coming back. So I was surging here. Then this guy comes. I have to stop pedaling here, which screwed me once. So I stopped pedaling once there. Then I'm on his wheel. Then I'm in his wheel. And then that guy on the left was pissed me off, because he then... I was trying to get on their wheel, and I just ended up getting on no one's wheel. Then I had to stop pedaling, re-accelerate, and then from then on, it was like, I knew I was getting fifth, and I probably could have tried a bit more, maybe. I was like, he sort of half-stopped pedaling, and then realized I was there, but in the end, you can see, I made two mistakes. Basically, I had to stop pedaling twice in that sprint, and I got fifth. So, obviously, there was one guy out the road, so kudos to him. He was, he was a solid rider and stayed on, but... On those, you really just need to try and hold, get in the line and just hold it. But you see, I wasn't on the line. I was sort of on the right. So when people attack, they'd attack there. But I couldn't get on their wheel. Um, so yeah, that, that's my advice. Maintain good position. Make sure you get in the wheel. Make sure you get in that moment where you're like, right, I'm holding the wheel. And then when you sprint, just make sure you try and leave your sprint as late as possible so that you can just draft off everyone else. Obviously, on this one, it's more of a power sprint. Power sprint. Uh, but yeah, cheers for watching. Uh, it was a really good race. Thanks Norwood Cycling and Rafa and all the sponsors and everything. Uh, it was really, really well organized. Uh, just a bit annoying they didn't close the roads, but you know, that's life. Um, and yeah, so cheers for watching. Uh, if you want me to show any of the, uh, any of the rest of the race, like um, the, the break or anything, let me know. I'm riding with pros tomorrow, so let me know if you want me to ride with any of those. And I think I'm going to do YE in a day because someone requested that. Um, I'm not sure how interesting that will be, but anyway, cheers for watching and we'll see you in the next vid.